So why is Diamond Comics shipping such a dumpster fire? They're, um, they're back in business now uh, this week, uh, finally shipping comics back out after a lengthy you know, two-month hiatus, basically. And uh, sure enough, the photos are rolling in of boxes that are damaged, destroyed. Is this Diamond's fault? Is it somebody else? What, what's going on here? Hey everybody, this is Birch. Um, I posted something, and then I guess the uh, the diversity and uh, diversity in comics, the, whatever the channel is called now. Uh, that that guy, uh, the Richard Myers channel, uh, also did uh, a video on boxes being destroyed. A bunch of people are doing it's it's boxes destroyed day uh, here in comics world. And you know what's going on? Why why are the boxes destroyed? Well, the answer is actually a little bit more complicated than people think. It's not as simple as um, you know you kind of want to in your head picture like a bunch of like super villains like people in in jumpsuits like super villain jumpsuits at diamond and they're coming back into work and they're like uh you know angry teamsters are coming in they just start chucking the boxes onto the you know like like bad airplane handlers uh, baggage handlers they're just taking these boxes full of comics and they're hurling them into this truck and and they're like ah let's get the bastard their comics and you know that's that's kind of what you know the, the mental image that you want to have here or maybe you don't want to have it that you get of what's going on with Diamond, but the reality is that that's not what's happening. Um, I don't believe for a second. I, I visited the uh, the facilities. I've, of course, been in the business forever, and it's not like Diamond in their warehouse is deliberately trying to wreck the comics. Uh, that is not the case. Usually, the culprit here is is not Diamond exactly. It's UPS. It's uh, it's somebody else. Um, but when we talk about to- you know comics getting damaged and Diamond shipments being bad. It's important to break this down. What are we talking about? Are we talking about the outside box being destroyed and, and bent and corners and all the rest? Well, that's probably not diamond. That would be your UPS. That would be your mail handlers who I'm sure at this current moment in COVID and everything else could not give any Fs right now to the job or what they're doing. I am, I'm positive that that is not a... Uh, well-tuned organization that is just, you know, excited to you know, deliver with care and handling. Is it the uh, the shipment of comics either in trucks or in planes going out? Well, that, you know, I'm sure those guys are also not treating everything with with care. So that's problem number one. Problem number that that is, you know, as much as you'd like to blame Diamond for it, that is not Diamond's fault. That is that is somewhere between Diamond and you. Things are getting screwed up. Um, But once you open the box, then you do get to things that are Diamond's fault. And here you have what I would call damage errors and then just, you know, clerical errors or uh, or counting errors. So the the damaged errors when the comics are are stuffed in, and I think a lot of people uh, with Lunar in particular or anyone who's doing discount comic book service um, and Midtown, for that matter, they ship their comics really nice. If you order a lot of comics, uh, there's usually... There's bubble wrap, there's plastic, there's, there's, they're packed in a box so as not to get damaged. So even if the outside of the box is trashed, the contents inside hopefully are surviving well. Now, this has never been Diamond's strong suit. Uh, Diamond will typically kind of, if there's a gap in the box, they'll just wad up some paper and use that to kind of compress the, you know, the, the gap, and that doesn't work terribly well. I think there's also like, there's a, there's a lack of just a general understanding of physics and how things work on the part of uh, diamond at times because they'll take a box and then they'll like they'll wad up paper and they'll put it into the box but three quarters of that box are filled with heavy comics that are stacked and then in the extra one quarter where they're trying to kind of secure things they've taken you know a couple you know, handfuls of paper wadded up and and put it in the top there and what happens, of course, is the weight of the comics as the box is moved around, rolled, placed upside down, however it's handled, um, the comics quickly smash that wadded up paper into a flattened pulp. And then that, that yeah, now the comics are just flopping around inside the box. This happens constantly. And this is on Diamond. Their, their packaging uh, practices are atrocious. It's, it should be no surprise to anyone that, you know, during the, the two-month break when a bunch of layoffs happened and furloughs and you know, people weren't working, it should surprise no one that Diamond didn't come back with an all new, all different, all improved packing mechanism. What what people saw today is exactly what people have been seeing for 
years out of Diamond. You know, if, if you are getting your comics in good shape, hey, good for you. You're probably still happy that you're getting your comics in good shape. If you're getting your comics in bad shape, bad news, nothing has changed during the outage that is getting your comics to you better. Um, this is an area where Diamond, I mean, there's a kind of an exasperation of just uh, what are you doing? And this is the stuff, by the way, that is going to keep UCB and, um, and Lunar in business and ultimately growing strong. If they can have a cost-effective, reliable, consistent packing so those things are not destroyed, nobody in their right mind goes back to Diamond, even if Diamond takes more work, because this is how comic shop uh, owners are going to start to think. They're going to say, well, it's a pain to get half my comics from Diamond and half my comics from this other place. But it's a bigger pain to have to chase down my Diamond rep because I didn't get the comics I, I ordered or because they were damaged and I've got to return them and all the rest. That's, that's a bigger pain than getting two shipments. And as soon as they start to really absorb that fact and, and think about it that way, that's the, all the strength and stability that uh, the, new, the new distributors need where they'll, they're never going to go away. And if you just see a lot less returns and a lot less nonsense, from you know Midtown and Discount Comic Book Service, as opposed to Diamond, you're going to see more and more publishers go, yeah, I want to be part of that other system. I, I mean, it's costly for them. It's something that people always forget in these videos that talk about how the comic industry is a disaster and blah, 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 blah. Uh, people forget that if you're Marvel and you're shipping out comics and they're getting damaged by Diamond, there's a headache for you in how you handle that whole back and forth. You're getting a bad reputation from retailers. People are pissed. Uh, it's just, it's not, it, this is not healthy for you. They, they do not look at this and just don't care that uh, your comics are, are in good shape or bad shape because this does provide, I mean, just more work comes back on them. That's what happens. And so I, I think that, you know, you, if, if, if Diamond can't get it in gear and really get to a more a better system, and I hear there's there's a bunch of people, uh, Larry uh, from Larry's Comics on on Twitter, you know, notes that his orders always come in just fine from Diamond, and that's cool. And and that's I'm not I don't doubt him. There are a lot of people who get comics no problem from Diamond. Everything's cool. Anyway, there's a lot of areas of improvement, and there's a lot of places where I, I think Diamond needs to. Move. But let me hit this last one. Last one is that you you don't get the comics that you, um, you know, you you ordered. Uh, that you you ordered one thing and you got something else. They missed parts of the order. This is less common. Um, I think a lot of people complain about this, but it's definitely less common than the damaged comics routine. Um, the damaged comics routine, I just call, you know, incompetence and kind of a lack of understanding of what happens to comics in a box if they're loose and they get tossed around, uh, which is terrible. The the orders that don't come in properly, um, those are, you know, that, that again, less common, but also stupid. And that just indicates that there's part of that operation over there at, at Diamond that is in desperate need of modernization. And I think even people that have had a good experience that do... Um, view diamond positively that, that just that, you know, that they, they, they're happy with what they get. I think even that group would admit there's aspects of diamonds operation that is just woefully antiquated. And I think a lot of people in the industry, rather than seeing this, you know, the comeback will be bigger than the setback, um, kind of slogan. I, I wish that those t-shirts and those stickers and that this marketing campaign, you know, what would have been far more powerful is if they said, hey, you know, we're going to, even if it's a crappy typed up letter, not one that it's anyone spent any time on and said, hey, we took every dime we could and we invested it in uh, making sure that our accounting systems were on newer versions of software. We've, re we've retrained some people about how to count. Uh, we've taught people how to pack boxes. And, uh, you know, it, it, we're not, we don't have a flashy slogan for you. But what we do have is a commitment that the comics are going to arrive to you in better quality. They're going to arrive to you on time. They're going to arrive to you precisely with what you ordered. And uh, we're just going to become, you know, we, we use this two months to basically bring ourselves into the 21st century and, you know, be, be a more reliable partner. Um, you know, this, this pause, this is what I would have written for. This pause has caused us to do some self-reflection, realize that there are areas of opportunity to improve our business. So while we were not able to ship comics, we looked at every part of our supply chain, every part of our business, every part of our operation, and found ways to streamline, optimize, uh, make it more effective, more reliable, and in many cases, reduce costs because we were, were doing some things manually that are now automated. This is what we've done. We are taking this step into the future. 
we are humbled by this break. We hope that you will uh, see that the improvements we've made are, are healthy for the industry and we will grow this together. I, I would have written something like that. And that's, that's what I would have done. Of course, I'm not in charge of Diamond and no one wants to be in charge of Diamond. But that's, that would have meant more, I think, to retailers. This campaign of the, the comeback will be bigger than the setback is that appeals to a very tiny audience who likes, you know, slogans and nostalgia type marketing that doesn't really have to do anything. Um, and that's, that's at the end of the day, that's kind of what, what, where we've got. But anyway, um, you know, like I said, a lot of videos, a lot of comments on diamond. Um, the, the too long didn't read version is that things are, are where they were, uh, before the break. And there's some comfort in that to know that comics are coming back out again. And, you know, we're back to quote unquote normal. Um, it's just, I think a lot of us, myself, definitely, you know, right there among them, we're hoping that getting back to normal meant, you know, getting back to an improved normal. And I think there were opportunities. So if, if three months from now we look back and we see, okay, you know, uh, UCB, Lunar are, are, are running and going and, um, you know, that quality is pretty good. Diamond is also running, but they're running the exact same they, way they were before the break. I think you'll have to look at that and say there's a missed opportunity to do something more, to do an improvement to the business. And, you know, you, those opportunities don't come back again and, and uh, we'll see. Um, I, I think it's hard for businesses to change. When you have a culture, when you have a, a company way of doing things, people don't change. They, they tend to just stay. And that's kind of where we sit now. I don't know. What do you think? Um, to, to a lot of you, I'm, I'm sure uh, it's easy to get wound up in this stuff around uh, Diamond and their practices and everything else. But if you're not a retailer, chances are you don't feel any of this. This is just kind of what you're hearing secondhand. And in many cases, it probably seems ridiculous to you. A lot of us are I mean, man, there's a lot of comic book readers who were born, you know, after the year 2000. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's weird. You meet somebody, it's like um, they were, you know, Ghostbusters 2 came out before they were born. That's 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 weird to me uh, as somebody getting older. Um, so when we talk about broken boxes and poor shipping and a lot of this kind of stuff, I, I'm sure it just sounds ludicrous to people. I, I, I don't, I, it is ludicrous in 2020 that, that, that you know, I, the same kind of stuff. Um, there's some comfort, I guess, in me. I remember, you know, getting comics in, uh, you know, 1995 and, uh, you know, they come a certain way and then I get comics in 2018 and they're coming pretty much in the same way. It's like, Hey, nothing ever changes. Um, you know, I guess, <laughs> I don't know. It, it's, it's a, it's a comics is a funny, funny world, man. Anyway, leave me some comments below about what you think of all this modernization. Does it matter? Uh, what do you think? Uh, would a would a modernization approach as opposed to a branding campaign been a smarter idea? I think so. Let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, introduce to a friend, pass this stuff along, trying to help put the information out there. Follow me on Twitter or Facebook at Comic Perch. And thanks for listening.